Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lamp Classic Remastered. This time we're taking a look at the 1997 Nissan Stagia RS4V. Our first Stagia, often confused as the Nissan Skyline wagon, even though all it really shares is an engine. Um, I like the Stagia. It, it's quite a cool car. I, it very hearse-like, but it, it's sort of got that Volvo wagon charm of where it's just an estate car and it's purely built to load stuff into. That's all it's for. I will say I, I love the fact that it has a riveted rear window with this racing modification, which is strange. I actually like this racing mod. Uh, for something they came up with in-house, it's uh, very cool. It sort of reminds me a little bit of the uh, one on the uh, March Super Turbo. Anyways, four-wheel drive, 446 horsepower, 1,383 kilos. This is a heavy beast. And um, yeah, let's see how it gets along. We haven't had too many wagons go around this course. A couple of Imprezas and Legacies, and we've also had the Audi A4, so interesting to see how this gets on. Anyways, it's going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Ford GT90, a 28.180. This is unlikely to beat that. In terms of where this is going to go, I don't really know. We've got four gears which isn't a good start because everything that's had a four speed so far on this series has been awful basically uh, the RX-7 Touring X that uh, Altezza we had so interesting to see how this gets along admittedly second gear is quite usable in this I think this might be a stage 3 turbo as well which is also a good thing because that means it makes boost throughout the uh, the rev range it doesn't just make it at the top end otherwise this would be terrible i don't really know what to expect out of the stages as these go around i think all stages were automatic uh, admittedly this is one of the slowest of all the stages um i'm not sure what the quickest is in terms of upgraded i know your mind obviously wants to go straight to i think it's the nismo it's got a ridiculous name it's like the nismo 280 RS Ortec tuned by Nismo or something. That one's probably quite quick. There's a couple of Ortec versions and stuff. Actually, no, this one isn't the, the slowest. I think the slowest is the uh, the 25 TRS4, the, the slightly newer version of this, which I think has a worse engine in it technically. So, and I think the 260 RSs are the. I think this is an RB25, and then those ones are an RB26. I could be wrong, I'm basically making that up purely based on the naming convention. But still, I think this is going to be our slowest... Actually, no, it's not the slowest wagon. I've just remembered that. that the Legnum ST exists, which made, like, no power. So this isn't going to be the slowest wagon, but it's not going to be far away. It's a bit of a shame about this gearbox, really, because... In truth, this with a good gearbox would probably be quite quick. Um, just based on the, the power figures alone, you'd think this would be like right up there. But I guess a lot like with the Skylines, maybe it'd be too disappointing to drive. It feels okay here, you can feel the weight of it. Um, it's not massively quick in a straight line for 450 horsepower. Again, would a gearbox fix that or is this just one of those cars which the game deems to not drive as quick as some of the others like with the key cars and stuff like that so I don't really know to be honest with you unless we delve into the code we're not really going to find out well someone has delved into the code and I don't think there's much about performance statistics in there I think they just set the power and the torque and the power to weight ratio for these things and that's basically uh, it goes from there consistent drive let's put it that way that was very slightly not quicker. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Alright, it's not impressive, obviously. But given the gearbox in this, that's not really that bad. Uh, to be honest with you, it is a huge barge, this thing. It really is, so... Yeah, not bad. But obviously, maybe not quite as quick as you'd like. But still, you know. Uh, not bad at all. 
Anyways, 31.787 will place this into 111th place. It is quicker than a Lotus Elise, quicker than a BMW 323ci, quicker than a bunch of Sylvias and the Almera. Of course, it has way more power than those. Um, obviously, I think it's like point one something down on the Audi A4 Avant, which is the other wagon we've had. But yeah, I mean, it's it's. it's Look at it, you can't expect like this to be set the leaderboard on fire, can you? Really? So, yeah, not bad, not bad. Anyways, that's it for this episode, thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something completely different. Until then, farewell.